have to be physically and mentally equipped, uh, you know, on a, on a day to day basis. Um, you know, it's tough. You know, it's pretty much a very, very tough field. Because a lot of um, the clients, they come directly from prison, they come directly from the psych wards. Uh, so, you know, so our job is very, very tough. You have gang members there, you got people with drugs, you got emotionally disturbed persons, which we call EDPs. Um, and, and things play out real crazy sometimes, and it's, uh, it's very, very uh, unpredictable. Most of the day, for the whole eight hours, you're getting cursed out. You're getting called out of your name all day, you're getting told that it's your fault that they're there. And you just have to hold your tongue and realize that you're there to search them, to help them get into the building so they can go get the services that they need. We know even though the DHS police force is 17 years old, people still don't know that we exist. So we really don't get the respect we deserve. These law enforcement professionals are doing without a gun what the police are doing with a gun. The guns that are taken away, the knives that are taken away on a daily basis, the people that are hurt on the job on a regular basis are not recognized. And the union has to go to bat for them to make sure that they collect all that's coming to them, including the assault clause, which agencies so readily try not to give the employees. A lot of disrespectfulness that we have to deal with. A lot of people, um, clients and staff, disrespect us a lot of times. And so it's a hard job. You have to have a tough, tough, tough skin just to deal with the, the job, the daily basis being law enforcement. You don't know who's operating the car, what he has in the car. By the time you walk up to the car, if he's violent, uh, if he's angry, if he's upset, the day can go very bad right there. Very bad. But I'm proud to be a shop steward for Local 237 as well. Um, and I generally like helping my brothers and sisters. The fact that Local 237 is our union is very good because it has given us a lot of opportunities for many years. Dental, eye plan, and also in many other things as far as the contract that they're working hard for it right now for us to get our money. Even though it's been so long, People need to understand that we had our administration in the past where we're not giving out any contract to anyone that was working for the city. But now that we have a new administration and with the new goals, we will be able to get our new contract and be able to be strong and get better us every day. I try to um, alleviate dangerous, hazardous situation entering the shelter, throughout the shelter, throughout the day. If we have a stronger unit, it will help us, um, the members, um, better their situation family-wise. Well, I'm very proud to be the director of the law enforcement division for Local 237. I am a former police officer. I was, I was in law enforcement. I'm still in law enforcement, and I'm very proud of what the people do in Local 237. These are some of the hardest working New Yorkers in the city. They work in some of the most difficult conditions. 